multiply negative 7 over 8 times 2 over 5. So because one of the fractions is negative, we know automatically the answer is going to be negative. So now we just have to try to simplify. We can always cancel numbers that are on the top with numbers that are on the bottom. So like the 2 and the 8, the 2 is up top, the 8 is in the bottom, we can simplify. So 2 goes into 2 one time, so you draw a line through it, and you put a 1 like this. 2 goes into 8 four times, so you draw a line through it, and you put a 4 like this. Then you just multiply straight across. 7 times 1 is 7, 4 times 5 is 20. Notice I didn't even mention the negative. It's just easier to just handle it first. If you know one of them is negative, the result is negative, and then you can just work with the numbers and not have to worry about the signs. And that would be the final answer.